All right, we're back. We've got about one minute and 53 seconds. The newest version of this is $3,000. This brand new is Can't hear there and now. I hear me. Why? So, say what? Can you hear me? Up?
And we welcome you here to Owens Express, Owens Technical College, or the Community College. Yes, sir. And Mike Jamison along with Jay Williams here for this Monday night extravaganza as uh, Swanton comes in the house to uh, bring on the Bulldogs. And, uh, Jay, there's a reason we're here tonight. Yes, sir, there is. Tonight we're looking at possibly Sammy McConaughey scoring her 1,000th point, only the second girl or lady, excuse me, in Rossford history to be able to do that. And she only needs two points to be able to do that. So hopefully that'll be something they'll get out of the way here pretty quick and uh, get this game handled and get a W for the Rossford Bulldogs. Well, right now, uh, you know, Rossford, uh, actually, uh, Swan's had a really good squad. And uh, I had my sheets up here. Did you take my sheet? Yeah. Probably, <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> That's what you did. See how you are? Yeah, I, I'm guilty. Mine are, no, no, you're mine are sitting here. All right. They're going to pass her on the outside right now. Looks like it's a little bit of a 3-2, kind of a matchup zone here. And uh, that ball's going to stay here. But, yeah, Sammy McConowitz, what a great deal. And not only is she going to make uh, uh, 1,000 points either tonight, uh, well, we hope tonight, but uh, she should become the leading all-time scorer for, for the Rossford Bulldogs for girls before the week's over. Correct. I, I, I talked to one of the coaches, and I believe it's somewhere around 80-some points that she needs. Oh, it is 80? Yeah, oh, it's 80-something. Okay. Okay. You, so were, you were saying a lot I, lower than I that. I thought it was 27, but not quite sure, but I got a confirmation it's around 80 points. So, But that that's something that you're probably looking at, you know, possibly this week, depending yep. on how the game goes. Three up by Shemming there, off the rim and no good. Bulldogs get it. But we've got two set of Bulldogs here tonight. Yeah, there's a lot of Bulldogs here tonight. Swanton's the Bulldogs as well. Frankie Nelson puts one up, doesn't go, and uh, Duvall's going to bring it up for the uh, Bulldogs. So we'll see. The, the Rossford <laughs> for, Bulldogs. For Rossford. We'll, we'll just, just go, go with Rossford there. and yeah. Swanton. How's that? that? That looks good. Oh, nice pass down low. Conowitz, she's got it, and maybe not blow the whistle there. It looks like a little there bit. There she of goes a... again. Shimmings yeah, in. There's Count a nice it. three. Well, that's that's definitely what they needed early in this game to make things happen. Three, four, Squanton. I'm kind of not used to working on Monday nights here, Jay. Yeah. So I am. Well, and the worst thing for me. I don't me, even have a damn table. Yeah, we don't have a table. Number <laughs> but we one. We got a good internet, which is the first hey. time that's ever happened here. At we Owens. have to thank Chris, the AD, for that. Yes. I, he, Lucius, he took care of Basically, he said, I just uh -oh. asked, and they said, we're good. So Right. And we get here, and we check, and it worked. It worked. The ball's going to try it. No. Kwaki. Oh, yeah, she's going to get fouled right there. Non-shooting. That'll put it out. So, yeah, we re basically don't have a table here. Um, yeah, I forgot. You didn't my, bring I aftershave or, or forgot deodorant. My, gla my glasses is the worst part, which means I can't read anything. So... <laughs> I'm going off of good luck and good wishes. Yeah. Back out to McConnell. It's up at the top where I'll tell you what, they got this little matchup zone and it's, and it's worked for Swan. And I uh, talked with some of their coaches and uh, they're, they're very good with that. They're very, very good ball handlers. Monica puts it up. 
Sammy for Guess rebound. Guess what? Oh. oh. Just a little bit hard off the glass. Yes. Avery Lutz is bringing it up for the uh, for Swanton. We'll get these names down before it all gets started here. You will, because I, I can I can't read. read yeah, Grace Oaks going to be uh, we're gonna bringing have, it out. We're going to have to ask our new cameraman, Ethan, over here to read the names for us. He just looks at us and shakes his head. He's like, why? Why am I doing this? I could be out, you know, I don't know. Anything. Cleaning fish. Right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Shimming. Nope. Oh. Lutz with a nice rebound there. Right place, right time. And once again, these girls can handle the ball well, and that's going to be a real good thing. Oh. oh. Now that's Lutz Does right she, there. Did she call that off the backboard? Avery Lutz. And uh, tied up at 3-3 three to three three, here. Oh, my gosh. Erica. We got look, two. Look, look how they spell Erica. A R I C K A. Uh, I can't. I couldn't I say it do anyway. It. I know. I uh oh, steal. Nice. Oh, beautiful oh, yeah, that. Avery Lutz. Avery. Yeah, Avery is number twenty-three, and Erica is number thirteen. I'm going to have to assume maybe sisters. Well, I can. Maybe. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident. They look like sisters. I don't want to step out of bounds here a little bit, but I would have to say. At least relation. Sure, sure. Oh, inside. McConowitz, and she spins it. Gets her own rebound. Oh, it's going to be a tough one. That, that two is just going to be they're tough. They're clocking up on her. Yeah, she's uh, Lutz again. Looks inside Oaks. Oaks. Oh, just a little oh, bit She's hard. tough inside. I can yep. see that already. The ball gets the rebound, though. It's going to bring it back up for Rossford. 3.57 left to go. Kwaki in and out. Just a little bit hard there. Oaks did a nice job boxing out right there, and that's what you got to do. Duvall not able to get in and take the charge. And I'm going to say it's Morgan Pine for uh, the... Uh... <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Right. You did. No, I didn't. You did. No, because see, I drink I drink diet pop and yeah. diet pop is not sticky. So right. that ain't I'm mine. Like, why am I sticking to you this? You don't want to know, folks. Yeah. You don't want to know. Katie goes to the hole. Oh. And she got tacked on. I that think one. she might she's gonna get frustrated. Yeah. You'll see it. She plays better when she's frustrated though, so nothing wrong with that. Three to seven here. What's three oh six left to go in the first? Frankie Nelson, no, no. They're going to get it up to Frankie up at the top. Oh, they're going to get it over. Now, Rossford staying in the man-to-man -man here. Nice little soft touch, just a little oh. bit. Rims look a little tough tonight. Right. She's going to break it up. Tell you what, they're tough. They're scrappers inside, and they're scrappers up at the top. A lot of scrap in there. That's going to be off just a little bit. Monica Poopis with the rebound. 2.29 left to go here in the uh, first quarter. Need to put a little offense together here. We saw this before. It's like they're almost uh, uh, afraid to, to shoot a little bit. There we go. Yeah, Shimmy puts one up just a little bit short. Oh, Kowaki. Kowaki. Oh. It's almost right had over the rebound. Oaks. And Grace Oaks is uh, really handling the boards very well for Swanton right now. Lutz again. She misses. Nelson gets it. Oh, oh no. Just a little hard off the glass. Boy, a lot of easy shots being missed here tonight. That's going to stay here with the uh, with the uh, with arrow. the Bulldogs. Yeah, it's always going to be the Bulldogs. <laughs> Every time we do a Rossford Swanton game, it, it always happens. Keep looking for my uh, my high school coach, Kevin McQuaid, to be here tonight. He's very big with Swanton. I know he's helping out with the boys a lot, too. So I may have to see him at halftime. Lutz again. That's Avery. I'll make sure I get that right. Nelson. Jessica Dolman. Ooh. Conowitz with it, and she's going to split and go. There she up. They're not letting her get that ball. Nope, she gets the ball, and it's two to three on her instantaneously. Erica. Uh, almost. Wow. She went down hard. Yeah. 
Duvall's going to bring it all the two, way. Yep, three on two break. Just a little bit hard for Shimming there. Missed the backboard glass completely. Turns it back over to Swanton. Dome again with it, and she's going to get it over to Erica. Or Avery Lutz. Inside. Backs it out to our other Lutz. A little bit tough off the glass there. I like it, though. That was a nice, that was a nice, uh, nice shot. Nice pass to the ball moving around. Just under a minute to play here. Still three to seven. Swanton leading. Monica, nice little turnaround. Ooh, just a little bit hard. Wow. Duvall with the rebound. Wow. They're just little scrapping. two on one break here. Avery, Avery Lutz again. There you go. Yep. That's uh, that's Pine, uh, Morgan Pine right there. Now nine to three, Swanton. Conowitz with 18 seconds. They get it over. Gwalki, out to Shimmings. I hope I'm saying her name right. I don't feel like I'm saying uh, Kitty's name right today. Gwalki. Glowaki. Glowaki. Like, like glow. Sammy, nothing. Forcing it up. It is a little bit. Oh. Oh, turns it over. 0.7 Seven, seconds. Yeah. You can't even get a shot off really. Yeah, maybe that. you can. We'll see. It's going to have to be a close one. Almost like a tip. Well, you know who that ball should go to then. Yep. Just throw it up there and let her go for it. Yep. Shoot it. Oh, well, she got it off. Yep. Nine to three is our score at the end of the first quarter. Toledo Sports Network bonus coverage here on a Monday night as uh, the Rossford Bulldogs take on the Swanton Bulldogs right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Stick around. For the holidays, make Walt Churchill's Two Markets your holiday headquarters. You'll find all the tasty, sure to please party trays and fixings to make your entertaining a great success. We specialize in USDA Choice, USDA Prime, and Dry Age YU Beef to ensure flavor and tenderness for any event. You'll find a great selection of domestic and imported beers, wines, and spirits too. Make Walt Churchill's Markets your holiday headquarters. Check us out at waltchurchillsmarket.com. about ready to start the second quarter. Mike Jameson along with Mr. Jay Williams. What's up? And uh, bonus coverage for us on a Monday night. You called me and everybody, hey, you know, we got to be here tonight. Sammy McConowitz is going to uh, get her thousandth point, which you were saying it's the only the second girl to do that. I understand that is correct. It's only the second female to be able to break the thousand points. And the record is at 1,087 or somewhere in that range. So she should be able to break that this year which would make her basically have the single single game record, single season record, and also have the career record. Wow. So, and be able, you know, over the 1,000 points. Lots of work there. Dave Truman listening in. He's been punking me out about Tiger Woods and the President's Cup, so I'm a little mad. No, at he him. was punking you out about listening to the Sound of Music. Last oh no, night. no, That's no, no! It, trust me, it, it started with Tiger Woods. Uh -huh. It always starts with Tiger Woods. It always does because Dave Truman hates Tiger Woods, uh -huh. and I think he's the only guy on this earth other than the, the girl who hit him with the golf club. <laughs> <laughs> but we won't go there. Yes, yeah, she, she might have some ill feelings. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, she's doing all right now. A lot oh, of ball, Duvall! A lot she of got ball lucky movement. on that one. A lot of ball movement here, but not a lot of people movement. We, well, no, we here's what happens. We, yeah, we talked about this before. Yep. When they get into these zones like that, somebody's got to be able to pop some threes right. or they're just going to lay in. Well, they got they got to do like you talked about. You're going to have to overload one side and go to single one-on-one oh, on, that, one that on that the other help. side. Ashlyn Waddell with the foul there, and that's uh, that's her first foul. I, I really dislike the, the fact. It's only the second foul yep, of, the over, night. of the night. Third foul overall for both teams. I really am disappointed, and it just doesn't happen here, but why do we not have the, the lit-up scoreboard for the, for the girls? You know, I don't know. It, it, it happens every, it seems like every week we see this with the girls' games. So Ever, we can't, Evergreen, we were okay. Evergreen had them. But yes, that, was, they did. that was a boys' game, so. No. no. It wasn't? Was it? Yeah, it was. Oh, Cardinal, Cardinal Stretch. Stretch. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. I don't know why, but it, it just seems that when the girls play, and it happens a lot. 
shame on who's ever part of that. So, all right, I've said my piece. Yeah. McConowitz is yet to score tonight. Well, the only score that they've had so far has been Katie's three. Mm -hmm. So, again, a lot of ball movement here, but we're not seeing a lot of penetration, a lot of movement of actual personnel, which... Was it Katie move. or was it Madison Shim? No, it was... Uh, Shimmy. Oh, it was Shimmy. I'm sorry, you're right. Yeah. Katie with it up there. They're moving her. See, somebody's got it. If you're going to move it like this... Sammy with the three. Boom! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. 1,000 points. 1,001, right? Yep. So she needed one or two to get there, so that puts her one over. Congratulations. That is just so, so cool. Sammy has just put all her heart and I just have not met. Here she comes. Uh, she's coming up. Mom and dad loving her to death. Look at them. So cool. So they just confirmed. One thousand eighty-four. Yeah. So that's the record, and she is confirmed the only the second one. <laughs> that's too cool. That's the whole reason we're here tonight. Yep. All right, we're done. Thanks, folks. Yep. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it a wrap. Always, always cool to be part of history. That's so we've get to be, we've done it a few times now. We got to be yeah. there for Jake, Drew and Jake, Jake and, and Drew, and when Jake became the all-time leading scorer, and we're the only ones here. <laughs> there we go. That's one proud papa right there. Yes, sir. Getting back to play. Six twenty left to go here in the half, and uh, three-point game right now. Ah. A little bit of a mental flip there for the Swanton Bulldogs. And at this point, I, I hope that uh, Rossford has a way they can just step it up a little as... Uh, we got that monkey off their back now. Right, right. Swanton's putting a little heat on up there in the backcourt. It's all right. That's it. Pop that. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful shot. Burtz for the three. And that's good. If you can get Burtz to start hitting some threes, and you got Shimmings out there, Katie oh, and turnover. Sammy. Turnover and turnover just missed mis hand handling of the ball there. Yeah, you get, you and get some. And Pupik, too. I'm, they all can shoot the ball. They can all shoot threes. So we'll see. Yeah, but they got to do that to break them out of this, uh, get them out of this zone. Looks like they kind of broke out of it a little bit. Now went back to more of a man-to-man. -man. No, they're still sticking in it. It's, it's kind of a modified zone, dude. And, uh, oh. Just a bad handle there. Lutz with a lot, it. A lot of bad handling of the ball here tonight. Swanton taking their time. Oh, Avery pops a long one. Whoa. Missed everything. <laughs> that one missed the uh, yeah, it missed, atmosphere. It missed everything. <laughs> That'd be a shot I'd take, though. Hey, nothing wrong with the shot. It's just you got to take them. You never know till you shoot it, right? Well, we've seen you shoot. So. Oh, Jay, you have absolutely no room to talk, my friend. <laughs> Love you like a brother, yeah, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you like a brother, too. <laughs> I, I'm a motorsports person. I am not an athlete. We'll just yes. keep that right there. Oh, a little, little nice tuck little, in. Yeah. Nice. Oh, they are calling it. They're not going to give her shots on no, it. No, just going to be on the base. But keep doing that and you will get to the point where either you're going to get something to free up or you're going to get them into foul trouble. Well, it's really hard to be able to force that ball in like that in a zone because they're going to collapse on you. But, I mean, if, if you can get some stuff happening outside, nice. that's nice. nice. Oh, follow your shot. 
We don't see enough of that. Two things no. we talk about, following your shot and bounce passes. Oaks outside. Boy, for, for one of the girls that's inside that does a lot of the, you know, she can handle the ball very well. She does for handle a tall the ball, girl. yes. Yep. For one of the... Avery. Uh, mm -hmm. That's over to sister, Avery. Wow. Both of them. I mean, they got to be twins. They have to be well, twins. Well, they're both of them right there. Yeah, they got to be twins. McConaughey saves the ball from going out of bounds. Nice. Gets it. Boy, they Back are really the keying on her tonight. Birch There's again. Birch. Yeah, That's what you three. need. Two in a row. All of a sudden, it's 12 to 9. Rossford leading Swanton with 340 left to go in the second. Well, if you got Birch coming off the bench and she's able to do that kind of stuff and have six, eight points, I, that's a really good thing for Rossford right now. Oaks, I'm just impressed with her. One sister to the other. Yeah, they got they got to be twins. They, I'm sure they are. I should have asked Bobby Trucar, who's the JV coach, good friend of mine. That's a foul, and that is on Birch. Yeah. And that's what, remember, she got in foul trouble early uh, on the last game we were here with. That's That's correct. Still only the uh, team second for Rossford, three team fouls for Swanton. First one's up and good. Of course, Truman's talking about me talking about Julie Andrews again. I got to tell you, I, yeah, was into, yeah. I was into Sound of Music last night. Yeah. I had a tear in my eye when they had to hide and go into Switzerland. Dave, was... Dave you and I will talk later. <laughs> We both know. It, never mind. We Just both know. Just a spoonful of sugar really hurts a yeah. uh, diabetes guy. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be a new, <laughs> yeah, new song now. Uh, 12 to 11 right now. Yeah. Just a little over three. Yeah. three Bonus coverage from the Toledo Sports Network. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like thank to you. thank all our sponsors for this game. We went to, we went to saw Elvis. And, well, thank you very much. Nice pass, nice cut. Oh, oh Oaks kind of gave it to her. Yeah, she kind of telegraphed where she was going to do it. Well, you got to step into it and then come back. She is. Woo! Mm. Takes it the whole length of the court. Oaks, I'll tell you what, she is. She's a trooper, man. I know you're like you're going to homer for you're going to homer for Rossford today, so I'm going to be more Swanton just to make it equal. Okay, oh, okay that works. Just to make it equal. Yeah, it makes us makes us equal. I got a foul. Boy, anytime she gets the ball, it's six set of hands grabbing at her. You know, we talked about it too. It's 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 not the prettiest thing with these girls. You know, right. they they're not right. they're, they're not finessed. No. It's scrappy, it's, it's and a it's scrappy good scrappy. Play. Yep. I think I, I called it froggy once, and Miss Carla Durko wanted to know what I meant by that. But they just play that way. They yeah. play a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I call it froggy. It's scrappy. Do the ball. That's nice. She followed her own shot. Look at that. Stick with it. Stick with it. Should have. There you go. Oh. I don't think so. Yeah. Sir, but what do I know? That's why we're sitting up here. Figures we do a game that's not going to be on TV, and I don't have to worry about TV timings. And, and it's everything's going, it's perfect. It's going to be a perfect, perfect yeah. timed out game. Exactly. Avery and Erica out front. They're playing a little tag. She walks. Rossford's still in that man. Yeah, they're they're running man. And Burks is doing a good job, but she's getting. They're really working it over down there. Huh? It's going to be on Burks. Yeah. Glocky's back in. Yeah, she is. Yeah. So that means it's going to be a switch, and McConowitz will go back to. Well, they do have her playing outside, though. Oh, nice. That was a really nice touch. McConowitz with another rebound. She's she's just hitting the boards tonight. She's, gonna, she's got, oh. <laughs> and gets her, her own, own rebound. rebound. Wow, she's tough. Yes. Boom! Yeah. Maddie Simmy. Tonight is a game of threes. We can see that already. 
Well, Game of three. It's a good thing too because Sammy's getting frustrated, and she's because they're just they're they're keying on her. Yeah. And which is going to happen the rest of the year? I mean, everybody yes, knows is. is all you got to do is, you know, step. There's a three. Just a bit. Got no problem with that shot. That was a good shot. Stepped into it, backed off, and yeah. 57 seconds left to go in the second. Another Lutz. Oh, nice. That's number 13. That was a good three. That's Erica. Erica. Give Swanton a one-point lead, 16 to 15. A little over 40 seconds left to go. Uh oh. Ball there. That was playing. <laughs> sure it was. 30 seconds. Lucy over in the corner. Duvall thinks about it for a minute, down to 20 seconds. You don't think about it for another 10 seconds. Nope. Then you think about shoot it. Shoot it now. Shoot it now. Mm -hmm. Shimmy. There you go. There you go. That's there a nice go. Oh. Now Shimmy's got a hand on it. See, you got nine seconds left. They got time to do something with it. That's that's why you got to, you know, there's, I, there's just got to be a word. So you know? why aren't we... Why aren't you pressing? No, it? you can't. No, because they'll go right to it. Well, I give them a little just something. Really, really good ball handling up front. For three, way oh, early. Just, yep. They got they time. Get Put it up. One. Oh, just off the back. 16-15 is our score right now. The Swan Bulldogs on top. Mike and Jay will be back with more right here on bonus coverage on ToledoSportsNetwork.com. <laughs> Stick around, folks. Genoa Bank helped finance my great-grandfather's farm equipment. Genoa Bank helped my grandfather with a small business loan. My parents' home loan was from Genoa Bank. And I managed my free checking account online with Genoa Bank. Since 1902, Genoa Bank has helped generations of families. Many things have changed over the years, but our commitment to our customers has not. We care about their needs and the good of our community. At Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Stop by any of our eight locations today. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. Hi there, I'm Nick with A-Plus Building Maintenance, your Toledo handyman. Do you need home repairs done? Not sure who to call? Here at A-Plus, we install everything from light bulbs to roofing. We're fully licensed and insured to protect you. We're also a proud member of the BBB. Please visit us online at ToledoHandyman.com. There you can see many before and after photos along with other customer testimonials and ask your own home repair question. Any job big or small, A-Plus Building Maintenance, 419-478-1542. On the job for you for over 100 years. You need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. We're the local Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over 19 years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeis has been a goldsmith for over 30 years. Our selection of Pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide, lime, and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. 
Bankruptcy can stop wage garnishments, collection calls, harassment, lawsuits, utility shutoffs, evictions, foreclosures, just to name a few. The law offices of Patricia A. Kovach are dedicated almost exclusively to representing the people and businesses who are overwhelmed by debt. Is your debt keeping you awake at night? Call us at 419-787-2666. The law offices of Patricia A. Kovach. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Walbridge, Ohio. Your automotive parts and accessories number one store. Your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Walbridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. At Maumee Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. Cleaning your gutters can be dangerous. Take it from Marty. For 30 years, I've been climbing up that ladder, cleaning out those gutters. One time, I leaned the ladder up there, and the feet were on the deck. The deck was a little wet. Next thing I know, the ladder kicks out, and I'm hanging by the gutter, and I start yelling for help. After that occurrence, I called Gutter Helmet. Call Gutter Helmet for an estimate. 419-475-0000. Get Gutter Helmet today, and you'll never clean your gutters again. Keeping you out of the gutter. We're the gutter. Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244 LEAKC Gate. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. For the holidays, make Walt Churchill's Two Markets your holiday headquarters. You'll find all the tasty, sure to please party trays and fixings to make your entertaining a great success. We specialize in USDA Choice, USDA Prime, and Dry Age YU Beef to ensure flavor and tenderness for any event. You'll find a great selection of domestic and imported beers, wines, and spirits too. Make Walt Churchill's Markets your holiday headquarters. Check us out at waltchurchillsmarket.com. Founded in 1936, Spittler Huffman is proud to continue our long-standing tradition of providing quality results and effective legal services to clients all across Northwest Ohio. We solve problems. That has been our motto for more than 78 years. Be it simple or complex, our attorneys work hard to give you the representation you deserve. We also believe in and support the respective communities in which we live and practice law. Here at halftime, two minutes left to go till the third quarter. 16-15 is our score right now. Uh, the visiting Swan Bulldogs on top. Mike Jamison along with Jay Williams. Jay's out uh, finding some sort of food that's probably not good for him right now. Him and his Pepsi. Here he comes. Got that Pepsi. He's all ready to go. So far, it's been a game of it. It's been a game of three-point shot shooting and uh, 
Both teams are shooting the ball pretty well tonight. Jay Williams is getting his uh, gear on and uh, he's putting his face back on. We like him better with a face. Just saying. Just saying. Jay, did you yeah, always some eat comments. some pizza? Where are we eating dinner at tonight? I'm not sure. Is it a Moe's night? Is it a Moe's Monday or is it a... Could be Moe's, could be Cinco de Mayo. Could be something. I gotta be honest, I uh, I fell in love with a new a new Mexican restaurant, and that is tequilas down there at the Old Buttons. You know, uh, food was just phenomenal. I have uh, been there for a happy hour or a time or two, and uh, they've got really good happy hour um, half off on all their appetizers, and even I think it's a good price on some margaritas. And they got this Jack Frost margarita. It's uh, blue uh, with coconuts on it. Yeah. Wow. I had that. It was yeah, good. Yeah, good stuff. It was good. I'm going to go there for my birthday, maybe. Well, we've had such a high-scoring first half here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's uh, if, it, if it's any high. Well, it, it just showcased how good the defense has been playing on both sides tonight. I think at this point, Swanton has showed a little bit better control of things going on. But once again, Rossford is so scrappy in how they're able to do some stuff. It, uh, uh, it's going to be a good second half. Yeah. Got to get special thanks out to uh, Ken Murphy and everybody over at uh, Heben Murphy and Lewandowski Attorneys and Law. They uh, help in bringing you these games. And this is an extra game tonight, folks. We're doing what well, game tonight? We're tomorrow night. We're at Eastwood for the Rossford Eastwood back, game. Back with the ladies tomorrow night. Yep. And then Thursday night, the ladies head over to Genoa. We're getting that game in. And then Friday night, uh, the D boys. Double header. Yeah, the boys will be down in Fostoria. We'll be there for that. And then we'll also have the Eastwood Woodmore game, boys. And uh, uh, the game that we're doing on TV is the Eastwood game tomorrow night and the, the Rossford Fostoria game on. Friday night. Yes. Those will be our TV games. So that's five, five games this week for us. Yep. And something else, we may not have to cut the games as much as we have been. Uh, Channel 13 is trying to find us another half hour. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Good thing. I mean, Hours. One, of the, one of the things. Oh, oh. man, you just you could see that coming. Yeah. Oh! I oh, saw that coming, too. Woo! Nice. Yeah, Morgan Pine just took that ball out of the air, and Sammy just decided, you know what? You can steal it, but... Welcome to my jungle. Yeah, you ain't taking that one in on an easy layup. Kind of what's uh, clean, clocked on clean that Clean block. One. Pine looks it inside. Nelson, they get it over. That's Avery Lutz again. Two Erica. Lutz sisters. Lutz oh. Let me tell you something. That ball has perfect rotation on it, too, when she throws it up. A really nice ball. That is not a good thing for uh, Rossford. Oh. What are they going to call that? I don't think she was set, but boy, it sure looked like a. I don't think they called a foul on that. No, I think it was just out of bounds. Duvall. Oh, oh that's stolen. Bought. Oh. Phew, it gets it. Duvall's got the ball back. Yeah, that was really some good work there by Pufik. Oh, that's going to be offensive. It's a little bit out of control. They're just... Uh, the Erica problem is when, Yeah, the problem is when you get three people around, you, you really can't move. Yeah. So she has no choice but to dish the ball off at this point. Sammy's only got, what, three points so far? Um, three that she made, that's correct. Oh, there's Oaks. That's another oh. three. She hit one in the first half, too. You can't do that. And just like that, it's 22 to 15. Swanton up. Oh. Almost turnover there on a pass. They're moving the ball around and getting some good looks. Just that looks good. for three. Yep. That helps. At this point, on both squads, it's been three-point shooting. Yep. And uh, and right now, neither team can penetrate whatsoever on each other. And uh, oh, that's Erica Lutz. She misses. 
Conowitz with the rebound. It gets popped in the face there. All that's going to do is make her madder. Come on. Right. <laughs> Come on. You don't want to do that. Back in the 3-2 zone here. Well, maybe not. Yep. Yep. Can't dribble through that. Oh. She wanted that one. Nice little dump down the grace. That should be a jump ball. There yep. you go. There you go. Great work there, Duvall. Quick game tonight so far. No fouls. Yep. I mean, no. it's been, uh, uh, you know, two, three fouls in the first half. If all of our games went like this. <laughs> of course, we're not putting this one on TV, right. so it's going to fit perfectly on TV. Oh, oh nice. nice little pass Lots. in. She faked, she faked like she was going high up on the top and went right back down and just got that bounce pass, and it was just beautifully waiting for her. Erica Lutz. Kitty, nothing. Cross-court pass. The shimming for three. Off. Oh. Yeah, hon, that's, yeah. that's a foul. <laughs> You don't, you don't want to say it is. Right. I didn't do nothing. She tripped over me. That's a foul. 98.97% of the time they're going to call that. Oaks with it outside. And, boy, when she gets her. Uh, wow. When she gets it steam going, boy. Yeah. Grace Oaks there. And, uh. And you said this team beat Otsego. I, if I was looking correctly, nice pass nice. down to McConnell. Yeah. That's what they need all day long. Got to start looking for that. Well, that's if that's Sammy's bread and butter. Yeah, and if they're going to play in that zone high like that, then take it. Oh, look at this NBA! Wow! NBA! Wow! Timeout, Rossford. Just like that, it's 29 to 20, Swanton over Rossford on the Toledo Sports Network. For the holidays, make Walt Churchill's Two Markets your holiday headquarters. You'll find all the tasty, sure to please party trays and fixings to make your entertaining a great success. We specialize in USDA Choice, USDA Prime, and dry age YU beef to ensure flavor and tenderness for any event. You'll find a great selection of domestic and imported beers, wines, and spirits, too. Make Walt Churchill's Markets your holiday headquarters. Check us out at waltchurchillsmarket.com. Twenty-nine twenty is your score right now. 4.44 left to go here in the third quarter. Mike Jamison along with Jay Boom Boom Williams. Boom Boom. You're Boom Boom tonight. Okay. Speaking of boom boom, we've had three point boom booms all over the place. Genoa Bank boom booms tonight. Yeah, it's definitely been some uh, three point shooting from outside, that's for sure. And it hasn't been a lot of in inside scoring. Not at all. Not at all tonight. Both, both these teams are playing really good defense, and they're really making you work to get that three point shot off. And you better all get time. that in. Yep. That was lucky. McConowitz bringing it back up. We're shimming for a three, and oh, it's that's good. Oh, that's Burtz. I'm sorry, Burtz. They both have their hair up in a ponytail. At least it's not a man bun. Well, that's good. Yes. Oh, she just walked. She did. She took like three steps backwards. <laughs> Where is this LeBron night? Yeah. Welcome to the NBA. <laughs> Oh, that's that play. There it is. Boom. Nice. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> they definitely they definitely move yeah. very well without the ball. Morgan Pine with that. Just just silly turnovers. That's a three. I think. Yeah, Morgan's going to the line. It's going to be on McConowitz. <laughs> her third foul for the evening. First one's up. 
No good. He's a little arc on that. The rim's a little tough tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, when you, you put that baby up in the air, take a deep breath, take, put it up in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. There you go. That one almost scooted off the front of the rim to the back. Ball's going to stay here, or it's going with Ross. Yeah. It was in the Duval, but it was picked, or picked off by one, or ticked off by one of the uh, what are the sisters over there? Guys got to, girls got to get some confidence here and really start uh, realizing that they can uh, handle the ball and they can make things happen. Three point shooting has been great though. Pupic, no. Burt's up top. No. Nice, nice, all the way. Oh. Oh, off the bottom of the backboard. Oh, she walked again. And accidentally threw it out of bounds. Maybe Erica Lutz, babe. three steps there. These, they're just little baby steps, yep. but watch it. Birch, she's, she, you get tentative. You can't get tentative when that thing's doing that. Oh. Telegraph that pass. Oh, Morgan Pine. That actually went off the referee. <laughs> Ooh, way off. Yeah. Get that ball. There you go. That's pupic. Good job. Two ball. It's got to be bam, bam, bam passing right here. Oh. There you go. Burks for three. Ooh. Just a little Not bit hard. Time. If they, if that rim would have been bent over just a little bit to the left, it would have been all right. <laughs> it's just like the one that moves back and forth. It's a realist here. I'm just <laughs> right. Morgan Pine running that point well. That looked looks just good. Mark. That's Def Frankie Nelson. It's just she, it was nice a nice shot. That yeah, was a good shot. Just no arc on it. I yeah. mean, it definitely was on target. Mm. Oh, they can't even get the ball. Yeah. Morgan Pine and she's going to be on Duval. So the last game we did when we saw this, basically what Mr. Toby did was basically start having Sammy bring the ball up, remember? Yeah. And it just became a, a Sammy show. Can't do that though. No. I mean You can. The problem is is she's gonna get wore out. She's got three games this week and right. I think she's already plays extremely hard. Oh, she's very physical. I think it's psyche for the whole team. If 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 you you, you want to run that off, nice. You want to run that off, Kawaki and Duvall, and if they can if they can make something happen out of that, trapping her here. See, that's the one thing. It's when when the contact's close. They're backing away from the contact instead of just attacking. When they're moving, if they're moving with you, go. That's your lane, you know. And uh, they, they, it's it's just a psyche. You got to get that psyche. There it is. That's up. Oh, Burt's. There you go. I like it. Yep. That's it. it stops the clock. That gives you a chance to make some uh, make some uh, score right here. Yeah, we we haven't been in the line at all, really. Uh, it's only the first foul, second foul on the. Swanton Bulldogs. Burt's got two here. Missed the first. Definitely need to make those. Give yourself a chance. We'll stay right here. Yeah, we got a big week for you. Tomorrow night we're going to have, uh, we're going to be Eastwood, and uh, Rossford girls will be taking on Eastwood. Then uh, Thursday night, Rossford girls will be taking on Genoa. Yep. Then Friday night we'll have Eastwood Woodmore boys, and we'll also have Rossford Fostoria boys, and that'll be the TV game. That'll be the TV game. So 158 left to go here in the third. It is 33-23, Swanton over Rossford. 
for those of you listening at home that we don't have the scoreboard for. Yeah, we don't really. Yeah, not this time. Sometimes. Hey, you can text us at uh, 419-514-1302 and let us uh, know what's going on and say hi and all that good stuff. It is a Monday night. We're doing Second this. one's up. This Connor is our bonus game. Oh. Jump. It's going to stay. Where's the possession arrow going? Staying towards Rossford. Definitely need to get a score here. Ten point game. No. Yep. Get it under. That's up. I like uh, it. Oh, just a bit. Just a bit off of the rim there. Oh, there she did it. Yeah, they, they called it that time. <laughs> that one was just a Hello. little bit little bit more obvious than the last ones. True core into the game for uh, Swanton. Kara True core. I DJ'd her mom and dad's wedding 20 years ago. It's kind of cool. And Mr. True core is one of the uh, True core is one of the uh, coaches over at Swanton. Mm. Nice. That's a jump ball right there. That's going Swanton. It just, it, you can't get anything down in the low here because as soon as you do, you've got them, three of them collapsing on you. If you're not putting it right back up, it's, you're going to get It's a strength factor. It's a strength factor. Yeah. You have to, when you get that ball, you have to be a beast. We're not getting fouls, so nobody's being a beast on either side, on either, either way. I mean, this whole game is relying on three-point shooting, and so far, both teams have done pretty well with it. Right. I think the, it is. A, it definitely is a struggle. You can see it when they get a rebound or even get the ball down in low, and yeah. you've got two people on them. They struggle to even try and keep control of the ball because you've got arms on arms right. and everything else. Swanton's been able to uh, do a little bit better job. Oh, do a little bit better job in the backcourt, and then all that happened. I don't know how that wasn't traveling. Yeah. First of all, she was sliding across the floor. A little over 27 seconds left to go here. Still a 10-point game, 33-23. Oh, she got part of that. Lucy did it. Over to McConowitz. Get it up. She's got 15. She's got plenty of time, plenty of time. There you go. Oh, there you go. Nice like block foul. Boy, she's going to be feeling some of these tonight. You can see it. Only the third team foul for Swanton. Lanell in for Swanton. Her first action of the evening. Over to Burtz, McConowitz. Burtz for three. It's going to be, oh, just a little. And at the end of three, it is 33-23. Swanton on top of Rossford on Toledo Sports Network. What can you expect from Workday Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. Fourth quarter about to start here at Owens Express Community College. Getting all the names in there. Mike Chambers along with Jay Williams. Good evening to you all folks. And I hope you're enjoying this one. Sammy McConaughey's got her 1,000th point tonight, but uh, has been very quiet, very quiet in this game. Well, it's pretty quiet, 23 points for the home team here this evening. So I want to give a shout out to a new cameraman, Ethan Wagner on the camera tonight, doing an awesome job for us. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, he is. He's doing a very good job. Stepping up and we needed a man tonight and 
Gave him an opportunity, and it looks like this Look, might turn into something good for us. Looks like Shea uh, Patterson, too. There you go. Not allowed to say that because I'm an Ohio State fan, and his dad gets mad at me if I ever mention anything. So, you got a foul? Yep. It's going to be Shemming going the line for two. That's good. Clock stops. Put some points on the board. Big week, man. We got games this week. I don't know what we're going to do next week because, you know, it's Christmas. It's a weird Christmas week. First one's up. Usually there's tournaments going on in the holidays. I know. But, but they're not in town. You're right. <laughs> a lot of them are, like, out in Cleveland. And uh, I know Eastwood is going to San Diego. And uh, it's uh, – Didn't the Lake Flyers used to have a big holiday yeah, tournament? Yeah, they did that. They, a few years ago they stopped. Missed them both. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's ball handling, folks. Oh, all the way. Who needs, you don't need any teammates. Who needs no stinking teammates, huh? Yeah, Good I, job. I thought we were watching the Harlem Globetrotters for a minute. That was beautiful. Just waiting for somebody to throw out, get metal like Lemon out there. He just passed away a few years yeah. ago. Good him dude. And, him and Curly. I got the knee there, inside. Nice back door. Come on, Katie, you got to get those. Those got, those got to be guaranteed buckets. It's a nice cut to the back door. It was a beautiful pass. Just a little bit short on the bucket. And he's patient, Swan, being patient. Pick, picking up their beautiful passing. Yep, all passing over the zone. Oh. Oh, didn't time that right. Kind of which is going to take it. And I'm just about guessing she's going to take it all. Oh, no. Over to Shemmy. Oh. She's for three. Katie for nice rebound. Follow. She just go up. Strong. That's, That's going to go. stay. Oh, yeah. There you go. Just kind of know where your presence is, you know, around, the, you know, find your little dots on the floor. And that's what I always did. What happened? I think it's a warning. Yeah. The hands were over. Yep, yeah, over the line. 24. You think it's coming back in for the Rosford? No dogs. 44, Lucy's on the other side. I don't know if she's got a cut or it's being tended yeah, to over seven. there. Katie Glowacki for three. That looks good. Yeah. Oh, just a little bit nice off the back. Shot. Yep. Just having a hard time getting anything to fall this evening. Just needs a little, one little confidence builder. That's up. Oh. We had a couple of uh, those misses. We'll just call them those misses. Mm, that's Erica Lutz. Mm. Looks like she's a little tired, but uh, she plays such good defense, and uh, she's a little missile butt out there. She's doing what she needs to do. I think I'm going to do a missile butt award this year for the girls and boys. You know, somebody that just really, really gets it, and at the end of the year, we'll get them a nice little trophy and uh, work something out. Toledo Sports Network missile butt award. <laughs> That's, I hope I'll, I don't get in trouble I'll, for I'll doing be, that. I'll be working hard for that award. Uh, ball. Yeah, they just are not letting Sammy do anything. Nice. Just a little bit hard off the glass. Now they're getting there. Yep. Just got to get those to fall. Right. That's four points, six points that we've missed on easy, easy, yeah. And now they're going to start pulling it out and taking some time off the clock. Mm -hmm. which, That's what I would do. Which is exactly. Well, Duvall with the rebound. And you got to start taking, pushing it here. And Duvall pushes it. She really does. And yes. And he got it to go. There you go. That's just what she needed. I just said she needed a nice little confidence builder. <laughs> Brings it to within 10. Can get it down into single digits. Big week of basketball for Osford here, and we're going to have a lot of it on uh, Toledo Sports Network for you. A lot of basketball. Basketball, basketball, good. Oh, nice. Tough, it's good. 
down to nine points. Rossford taking a press. You just gotta watch though. You can't yeah, let the can't press can't be broken like that. Can't do that. <laughs> press does no good if you can't nope. gonna let somebody drive the distance of the whole floor. And Erica go Lux has done that two or three times yep, tonight go up for already. An easy layup. You're not gonna see that happen nice. to Swanton team. There you go. There you go. Way to get position, Katie. Nice job, Katie. Took her time, got position, and rather than getting it up quick, and got the bucket. Nice. Oh, Maddie, you almost had that one. Again. Oh. Gets her own rebound. Oh, I didn't look like a foul there. Cupic with Only her foul. first. Only 15 foul. 434 left in this contest. Fortunately, it was a shooting foul. She will be shooting two. Makes the first. Puts it back to a 10 point lead. Erica Lutz. She's. Real, real good point guard tonight. Real good point guard. And two Lutz sisters. Second one's up and no good. Rebound by Monica. Oh. Bounce pass, bounce pass, bounce pass. Swan's just been a step ahead of yep. they, they, Rossford they, all night she, They were definitely hustling to get back on that. Yep. We've seen that. Uh, Tough to shot. Got to use the glass. Look at Bird though. Boy, they get back, but they just allow that lane to open up so easily. Three rebounds. Uh oh. She's gonna take another three. No good. McConowitz for the rebound. One on one. Here we go. Oh. Little blocking foul. Yeah. Sammy tried to give her a little stutter step there, a little, little breaker. She's good at that. First one's no good. Warren's up and good. A little bit of a shooter's touch there, roll. 401 left to go with score 38 to 29. Swanton on top of Rossford on Toledo Sports Network. Hi there. I'm Nick with A Plus Building Maintenance, your Toledo handyman. Do you need home repairs done? Not sure who to call? Here at A Plus, we install everything from light bulbs to roofing. We're fully licensed and insured to protect you. We're also a proud member of the BBB. Please visit us online at ToledoHandyman.com. There you can see many before and after photos along with other customer testimonials and ask your own home repair question. Any job big or small, A-plus building maintenance, 419-478-1542. Thirty-eight twenty-nine is our score, 401 left to go in this contest. Swan's been in control most of the game. I've uh, been able to uh, uh, facilitate a lot of scoring at the three-point line tonight. and. Uh, well, there really hasn't a lot of been much other than outside perimeter scoring. Yep. Both teams. Yep. A lot of fast breaks, a lot of uh, easy layups or three-pointers. Speaking of, just a little bit That's Oaks. off. Oaks is on that one. Just a little over 347 left to go. This game's not out of reach, but can't have things like that. Easy turnovers. No. Take the ball. Take, take the ball. She's, she's so good. It just, but the problem is, staying here. The problem is if she, even though after she misses them, she's getting some of her own rebounds. Mm -hmm. If she had half of the ones that she's stolen, it's going to be on McConowitz. It's going to be her fourth. Six. 
Sammy's got to be careful not to pick up a fifth foul here. That was a long five seconds. <laughs> you call that the 10 second, five second rule. Yeah, yeah. What's, I was counting to something. Don't, don't even try, you're a stretch grad, come on. <laughs> she, see, she wants him to come out and play. It's like, Warriors, come out to play. Best movie ever, by the way. They're just gonna, they're a team that can, they have such good backcourt people that they can, they can do that. <laughs> Maybe boring, but. Whoa. <laughs> You've got a hand on that yep. one and just knock it right back in, uh, in Lutz's face. We'll try and do some trapping here to. Ain't gonna, yeah, got a foul. At this point, Shimmings with a foul. Only her first. That is a team seventh though, so we'll go to the line for one and one. I'm thinking some heavy duty Cinco de Mayo's tonight. Does that sound all right? Sure. Surely, surely you're not calling me late. First one's up and good. Puts it back to a 10 point lead. Lots of sisters have done very well tonight. Very well. Second one's up and good. It's been kind of an uh, up and down night for them actually. Had a few air balls, but they've also done very well with getting the yeah, but I'll bet. ball to the hole and getting some, oh, that's a carry. It's going to be a timeout. It's like timeout Rossford. You want to stay 30, here? Yeah, 30. We'll just stay here. So let's. This is brought to you by Mike Jamison, and Jay Williams. Well, tonight, I was going to say, it's brought by Jamo's Journeys. Yeah. Who were out of little Blackberry Corners today and had some pizza. It was fabulous. The deluxe blackberry pizza has pepperoni, mushroom, uh, hamburger, bacon, you name it, it's got it on it. It was the thickest pizza I've seen in a long time since being not being in Chicago. Of course, Chicago-style pizza is always thick. Well, this one's going to get out of control here pretty quickly if Rossford doesn't get a few stops and put some put some nickels up on the board here. Have to concentrate on ball handling issues. And of course, Swan is not going to do anything to try and anything but just kind of go into a stall. And then, of course, like you said, they've got the ball handlers. Get the ball, run, Sammy, run. <laughs> Oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh. Katie's down. Yep, and that's the same knee from last year. And I saw her twist it. She got tied, her leg yeah. tied up with another girl. And uh, let's take a break. On the job for you for over 100 years. You need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. Genoa Jeweler, 611 Main Street in Genoa, has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over 19 years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeyes has been a goldsmith for over 30 years. Our selection of Pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa. Sammy's at the line right now. Uh, Katie's off the floor. Uh, I think it might have been a sprain. She's just going to be hurting here for a little while. That's 
the bad thing with injuries that, you know, they're very easy to uh, get back into being an injury again. And even when it's not an injury, just the, some of the things that uh, happen to you, twists and turns, and as we know, Michael. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Swanton back into the stall here. Going to basically stretch it out and run some time off the clock. Ball with the foul. That'll put her back at the one and one. Stay, staying right around this 10 point. They could have just kept it from getting to 10 points. Could have stayed pretty competitive with them. And them both, once again. Back to a 12 point game. That's got to go up. No. Yeah. Now you got a lot of. And Ryland Duval. Reynolds. Yep. In. It's my neighbor. Oh, she can handle the ball. Oh, she that was walked. a walk. Just yeah. took those little little blubber -blub -blub steps. Sammy. Sammy followed out tonight, scoring and breaking uh, the 1,000 point barrier. Congratulations to McConowitz on that. Back in and uh, got them both. Yep. Erica takes it up to a 14 point game. Now we're going to get to see some, some new faces with Katie out and Sammy Fallen out. Reynolds. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> she looked like she had a good shot right there. Thought about it for a minute, and by then it was too late. Just wanting to go back to pulling it out. Just running some time off of it. Going to stay with Swanton. Uh, I see Katie up over there walking around, so things must not be too bad. That's good because tomorrow night they go to Eastwood to take on the Lady Eagles. And of course, when you go into Eastwood, you need to be firing on all cylinders. Oh, amen. Amen. Yeah, what's going to kill the Bulldogs is. Uh, is it, you know they got they got to concentrate on their ball handling. They have to because that that just won't fly at Eastwood. No, no, not with Schmelz. And you got all those out there. You know, very they got they got they go pretty deep. Not a quite as I don't think quite as deep as Lake or at Seago, but they're both they both can bring seven. Know, boy, yeah. They both can bring seven off the bench. At Easy. least, yeah. Boy, and Rossford's just missed a bunch of easy shots. Free throws, easy buckets underneath. Thirty-one seconds left to go here in the fourth. First one's up, and no good. Gabriel. Boyd with the uh, foul shots. Oh, nice. 
Nice rotation on the second one. 30 seconds left to go. All new fresh faces on Swanton. Nice pass. Oh, and somebody got their name on the scoreboard. <laughs> Somebody's getting in the books. 12 seconds left to go here for the Rossford versus Swanton game. Again, a little extended coverage here for you this evening. Basically came to watch Miss Sammy McConaughey score her 1,000th career point. Be the second lady in history, Rossford Bulldogs history, to do that. And uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be your score, 48 to 31. Swanton on top of Rossford. Uh, it was a good game. Uh, Rossford's going to really, really have to work on their backcourt play and, and what they need to do to keep that ball and, and be able to do something in the back there. Three-point shooting looked really good tonight. And, uh, you know, Swanton just had their way of shutting down Sammy tonight. Well, that's kind of everywhere we go, that's what we're going to see pretty much as the game plan, running a 3-2 zone and kind of keying on Sammy. And they've got to learn how to get around that 3-2 zone, and they got to learn how to get some uh, some – easy buckets that they're missing scored and then at the free throw line you've got to be you've got to be making those or you're just not going to be able to not going to be able to play with these teams you've got coming up against Eastwood out Seagull and uh, some of the better teams here in the Northern Buckeye Conference exactly well Jay thank you very much you guys uh, really good job on the camera thank tonight. you Mr. Ethan appreciate it Ethan rocked the camera yeah. really good stuff tonight and we appreciate him being here tonight your final tonight once again 48 31 Swanton Bulldogs on top of the Rossford Bulldogs. Hey, folks, we'll see you tomorrow night. We got some more basketball for you as we head to Eastwood as Rossford takes on Eastwood. Have a good evening, folks. Bye-bye.